What's up, party people? Welcome back. Another episode of bringing this Camouflage S13 back from the dead. Uh, I got a very special treat for you guys today. This here is the Part Shop Max Rack Relocation Kit. Uh, and that's, that's something a lot of people don't realize is that when you're drifting, uh, there's something called rack over centering or when your tie rods over center. And that's a terrifying thing when it happens when you're drifting. Because what happens essentially is that tie rod, which is pushing out, it locks. So it doesn't want to come back. And so you go to full lock when you're drifting and your wheel doesn't re-correct. So uh, this is a terrifying moment. You have to muscle it back to get your wheels to track again. And, uh, and that's very terrifying. Uh, there's a lot of products out there that are, um, they're essentially offset spacers for your rack. And those things are terrible. People use them. You can get by with those, but they, what they do is they move your tie rods forward and that corrects for the over centering. Now that's okay. That's fine. But when you, when you drive on that thing, what it does is it ends up flexing your rack. And so it creates a lot of unnecessary strain on your rack when you're drifting a lot. It's going to wear out your rack bushings. It's going to wear your rack out and just destroy the, that. And that's, I mean, if you just do this, if you spend a little bit and do this beforehand, move your rack forward, get it out of the way, um, you won't have that problem. And you'll save money on buying a new rack or, you know, buying a rebuild rack and life will be great. And this is, this is cool. It's such a beautiful product. And of course, my favorite part I get to do some fabrication. So I get to cut my, my subframe, my front lower subframe. I get to cut part of that out and I get to weld this piece in. So this piece is solid. I mean, I'm just, you know, getting yoked here, getting yoked. Oh, this is a solid piece of machined steel. Um, that's cool. How cool is that? It's threaded. Uh, it sets these pieces up. Now these are adjustable. You can adjust them and there's some spacers to lift them higher and lower if you can fit it under your oil pan depending on your swap circumstances. There's some brackets that we weld in and uh, some clamps. Your, your rack gets clamped onto all these brackets. Um, you know, I guess once you start getting into your car and you start doing things, when you're bolting stuff on, you run to the point where you're like, ah, I'm not a fabricator, but that's okay. You know, this is a relatively, if you can even cut it, if you can't, that's fine. I know Drift Cape does this uh, with with the Part Shop Max rack relocation kit. Uh, you could send your rack out and get it back. Um, and so there are a few places that can do the service for you. But, um, you know, if you know if you know somebody who can weld, you can MIG weld these in. I'm going to TIG weld it in because I like things to be a little more precision. So, yeah, I'll be showing you guys the process of how all of this goes in your car and relocates your rack. So yeah, let's get to work. But before I get to that, make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment down below, and you share it with your friends. I mean, don't your friends wanna know all about this? Come on, come on. All right, now I'm gonna get this subframe and steering rack out of the car. Uh, so follow me while I do this. All right, let's get this subframe and steering rack out of the car. Well, that's one dirty unit. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a whole lot easier without the engine in here. Subframe. Let's get these cleaned up. All right, subframe is out and uh, cleaned up a little bit. It was filthy. Uh, now we're getting to the part where we're cutting it out. We're doing the cutting out this whole center section in preparation for uh, welding in 
the uh, the rack forward kit. So this Part Shop Max rack forward kit uh, has all these little notch indentations that we'll see once we get into here. But it's there's no instructions with this. Uh, so when you start cutting it, make sure you line it up just right in between. So set the, I'm setting the thing on there, and you know I'm making some little marks. And it's, it's pretty much center. There's not a lot of room between where the, uh, the motor mount brackets or the motor mount tabs of this, uh, this subframe are. But I'm just making some little line, just little Sharpie lines. And uh, visually reference that they're, uh, that they're centered. Um, and then once you cut into it, you'll see what you need to do. You'll see how much you need to cut and clearance. Um, so basically I'm going to cut across here, I'm going to cut this whole line off here, and I'm going to cut the, the original uh, rack locations off. And yeah, and then we'll, uh, we'll see more once we get into that. <laughs> Alright, here goes nothing! <laughs> So the center section, the original mounting location is cut out of my front lower subframe. Uh, now that's quite a bit of material, right? So, you know, we're gonna, you know, quietly dispose of this stuff. Uh, now, all right, so this part's important. You wanna make sure to brace this thing. Now, um, I, have a, I have a subframe brace that I'll be using, uh, but if you don't, make sure to clamp it down uh, to your work area. So, you know, this thing is like, I mean, look, I'm like, I could twist it and flex it. There's not a lot of material left. So you don't want to warp this thing. I mean, this is where your, your front lower control arm pickup points go. So this thing is very, it's very important to make sure that this thing just doesn't taco up on you. Um, since we're tacoing about it. Um, but yeah, you can, I mean, you can clamp this thing to your work area. Um, I have a brace, All right? So this is my brace and this will actually go, these, these dowels will actually go where the, uh, where the control arms bolt. And so, okay, so I'm all clearanced. All the metal I need to cut out is cut out and uh, this thing's ready to weld in. Now, you have to line it up on the bottom. There's a couple little notches, you know, right in here that line up on the holes in the bottom of the subframe. And these little indentations, you're gonna line those up, you know, with these larger ovals right here. Uh, and it's tricky. I mean, you don't want your subframe to, uh, to warp, you know, and this thing will, and even as I'm pressing it down, I could see how much, from where the holes line up, I could see how much it's starting to flex up, uh, you know, based on what I cut out. So, you know, it's pretty critical. You know, plan this out before you guys start cutting into your subframes because you don't want to destroy these things. These things are, these things aren't easy to find. Um, let's see. Some bolts through here and the good thing about the the part shop max rack forward kit is this thing is solid so once it's in there it's going to provide you all the bracing you need Very important step. Make sure you jig your subframe before you start welding on it. Uh, this is just, I can't stress how important this is. All right, so I'm gonna flip this thing over. 
And we're going to figure this out together. All right. Now, if you see, these little holes are lining up ever so nicely. And it's a tough lineup. I mean, these are... These are 30-year-old cars, you know? Um, you just... These subframes aren't perfect. So... Got it. At some point you just have to say like, all right, cool, I'm happy with this. All right, see these little marks right here? These little, that little indentation right in there. And it's like, there's little cutouts that line up with these holes just ever so slightly. You know, and this little indent, that, that little rise up there, that little rise. Just a little lip right there. Now the subframe has a little ding from getting maybe strapped down or something, but I mean that is uh it's best it's gonna get. Ooh! Time to weld. Alright, so let's flip this over. Alright, so here is a very important part of this. Uh, it was a bit confusing because there are no instructions, but you have to test fit your rack before you start welding these things in. Uh, there's a bit more clearancing you need to do. So these little, these little gusset tabs or these little brackets, they're not brackets, they're gussets. Uh, but what they are is they're also templates. So they are specific. So if you are doing a left-hand drive car, you have to do them. You have to clearance the certain side. So this, if you are doing a left-hand drive car, this piece goes on the left-hand side. If you're doing a right-hand drive car, this piece goes on the right-hand side of the car, of the, of the subframe. So it's very, very important. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So this drops in like so, right? And there's a little nub on the steering rack. You're gonna have to cut all of this out to clearance it. So and on this side, essentially the right-hand side of the cross member. Right? So you're gonna have to clearance this if you wanna bring that, that rack all the way forward. Now this is where the, the rack will actually touch this when it's in the right position. So all of this needs to be clearanced. So I'm gonna do a little more clearancing and, uh, and then I'm gonna weld these pieces in. All right, so now this area is clearanced. So that little section, that's where the rack, there's a little nub on the rack, it'll fit right in that little section. Right, and then the shaft, right, the shaft of the steering rack will slide right past this. Perfect. All right, now one thing that's very important when you weld these, weld these subframes, even though I have a jig on it, a brace, you gotta weld them bit by bit. So you gotta kinda tack everything and then weld part of one side, weld part of the other side. Just try and go in diagonals weld a little bit of the main support and just kind of because you don't want to put too much heat into one area that's very important trust me
And this thing is done. Well, it's not done, but it is, uh, it's is—it's close to being done. So what I'll do is I'm going to let it cool down before I pull the jig off. And then um, I'll test fit the rack, make sure everything is perfect and lines up. And uh, yeah, and then I'll be moving on to the next step. But um, I mean, that's the hard part's over. So now it's just a little fine tuning. Oof, I love how it came out. I love this solid piece. I love this solid machine center section of this rack forward kit. It's, it welds on so nice, and the gussets weld on nice. Everything is, uh, it's a lot of welding, but it's actually not that bad of an install. So, cool. Yeah. Loving how it's turning out. Uh, I'm going to do assembly. I'm going to do a, basically a pre-assembly before I coat this thing and mock up the rack just to make sure that I have all of my bases covered and all of my clearance because you're taking that a lot. You're moving this thing forward uh, 40 millimeters and that's a lot. So, I mean, I want to make sure before I coat it, I won't have to go back and clearance anything later. All right, now let's test fit the rack. Oh, yeah. Let's make sure there's nothing else to clearance. Clearance. I mean, that looks about as good as it's gonna get. I mean, that's a perfect fit. Wow. It's just incredible, the little stopper, it just, it all fits so perfectly. Um, you really gotta pay attention to this area when you're clearancing it though, because there's so much going on and it moves forward so much that there's, you're just cutting into the subframe. So my advice is to, is to get to this stage, put the, put all the, um, the C-clamps on and test fit it, clearance it, test fit it, clearance it, just have the rack near you and kind of go back and forth just to make it just right, just to get that perfect fit. But uh, yeah, no, this works, this is perfect. So now, I'll set the rack aside, take this all apart, get it ready for coating. All right, so the cross member is powder coated and this Part Shop Max rack forward kit is installed. The next step is to install it in the S13 and uh, I'll be closer to finishing the project. Uh, now this kit is 
fairly difficult. You're going to need to know fabrication skills and welding skills and whatnot. So if you don't have all of those, you can prep this thing and get it to a fabricator to have them weld it. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend knowing what you're doing a little bit. And there's not a lot of instructions on how to do this. Um, I kind of had to go back and forth to some of the pictures that they had on the website for this. So hopefully this video will, uh, will help you guys accomplish this task and accomplish getting this rack forward kit on. So um, yeah, this thing is done. I'm going to go take it and throw it in the car and get that rack on here. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, keep tuning in. I'll keep bringing them to you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you guys next time. Ah. <laughs>